Hey guys, today we're going to learn all about the sounds the letters F and V make. Are you ready? Let's get started. The sounds the letters F and V make are very similar. In fact, the only real difference between the sounds they make are that one you make with your voice box and the other you don't. Let's start with the letter F. The letter F makes this sound. First, let's go over how to make this sound. You'll put your top teeth a tiny bit over your bottom lip, and then you'll blow air out over your bottom lip. Let's try it. Next, does this sound like a quick sound or like it could keep going? It can keep going, which means it's a continuous sound. And lastly, let's see if we use our voice box to make the letter F sound. Go ahead and lightly place your fingers on the front of your throat when you make the letter F sound. You should not feel a vibration when you make the sound because you do not use your voice box when you make the letter F sound. So to sum it up, when we make the letter F sound, we put our top teeth a tiny bit over our bottom lip, and then we blow air out over our bottom lip. And because it's a continuous sound, it can keep going. And it's an unvoiced sound because our throats do not vibrate when we make it. Let's practice saying some words that start with the letter F sound. Fish, frog, fence. Let's say those words together. Fish, frog, fence. Great job. Now let's talk about the letter V. The letter V makes this sound. V. Just like when we made the letter F sound, you'll put your top teeth a tiny bit over your bottom lip and then you'll blow air out over your bottom lip. Let's try it. V. 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 Next, does this sound like a quick sound or like it could keep going? Just like the letter F, the letter V sound can keep going, which means it's a continuous sound. And lastly, we'll check to see if we use our voice box to make the letter V sound. So lightly place your fingers on the front of your throat and make the letter V sound. Your throat should vibrate as you make the V sound because it's a voiced sound, which means you do use your voice box to make it. So to sum it up, when we make the letter V sound, we put our top teeth a tiny bit over our bottom lip, and then we blow air out over our bottom lip. And because it's a continuous sound, it can keep going. And it's a voiced sound, so your throat should vibrate when you make it. Let's practice saying some words that start with the letter V sound. Vet, volcano, video game. Let's say those words together. Vet, volcano, video game. Excellent work. Now let's review the letter F sound to see if we can figure out which words start with that sound. Let's gently place our fingers on the front of our throats and we'll start by making the letter F sound. <sighs> But remember, your throat should not vibrate because the letter F sound is unvoiced. Let's give it a try. <sighs> nice job. Now, let's see if you can pick out which of these two words starts with the letter F sound. Foot or alien. If you said foot, then you got it. Camera or fire. If you said fire, then you're right. Finger or robot? If you said finger, then you got it. Now let's review the letter V sound and see if we can figure out which words start with that sound. Let's gently place our fingers on the front of our throats and we'll start by making the V sound. V. But remember, your throat should vibrate because the letter V sound is voiced. Let's give it a try. Mm. 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 Nice job. 
Now, let's see if you can pick out which of these two words start with the letter V sound. Cupcake or vase? If you said vase, then you got it. Rabbit or van? If you said van, then you're right. Volleyball or apple? If you said volleyball, then you got it. Wow, guys, you did great work. Thanks for sticking with me and learning about the sounds the letters F and V make. See you later.